Bless the Lord Jesus, everyone, and thanks again for tuning in to another weekly devotional. We will continue on our series, The Perfect Love of God, and this week, our focus will be Love Never Gives Up. Our scripture is taken from 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 to 7. The New Living Translation reads, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. It's always easy to love others when things are going well. Loving such a one is easy because they're always in agreement with everything you say. Our so-called love is challenged when the person defies your expectations. But what is Bible-based love? When we truly love the Bible way, We love with a spirit of endurance. People will not always be and act how you want them to. However, true love endures all things. What does all things mean? Love endures mean attitudes. It endures lies, disobedience and defiance. It endures being talked about, being disappointed. Love endures prejudice, bias. Love endures defeat and endures calamity. Love endures all these things and more. Consider a painting that depicts love. It would look something like this. It would look like Jesus on the cross, speaking to his father saying, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. This is a love that chooses not to give up on mankind. Understand that Jesus had options. He really didn't have to do it. Matthew 26 verse 53 says, Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But Jesus went through the cross, that the scriptures might be fulfilled. Being obedient was more important to Jesus than the pain and agony he felt on the cross. Forgiving and seeing the best in the worst of situations can be agonizing and painful. But still, love endures all things. Love never gives up. Bible love is selfless. Bible love is relentless. How often shall I forgive my brother? The question was asked according to Matthew 18, 21 to 22. It says, Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee, until seven times, but until seventy times seven. It's amazing that Peter asked this question, as he would later be shown forgiveness when he denied the Lord thrice. It was time for Jesus to be arrested and brought to the house of the high priest, Many fled because they were afraid to be associated with Jesus. Peter was no different as he said, Lord, everyone will leave you except me. The Lord told him he would deny him thrice. And so it was when persons started to inquire if he was one of the twelve. Peter denied the Lord three times and afterwards the rooster crowed. Peter had followed Jesus up to a distance when he was being arrested. When he denied him, Jesus turned around and it reminded him of what Jesus said. Can you imagine how Peter felt? Disappointed in himself, unworthy, unfit, a hypocrite perhaps. But Jesus showed us how to love in the face of another person making a mistake. He shows us that love never gives up. According to Matthew 16 verse 18, Jesus told Peter that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I shall build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Jesus didn't change his intent toward Peter because he made a mistake. Peter was given the keys to the kingdom. He was made a great apostle to the Jewish people. 
Love that endures doesn't change its mind or heart or intent towards you because of faults. This isn't easy. Can you hold your friend, co-worker, church brother or sister, spouse, a family member in the same regard after being offended? The Bible says, according to Proverbs 19.11, that it is one's glory to overlook an offense. Jesus is the prime example of this. Consider persons who you and I would have written off. Samson, perhaps, the woman at the well, the woman caught in adultery. But Jesus didn't view them that way because his love is redemptive and relentless. Jesus' love never gives up. Whenever loving becomes challenging, remember God's love never gave up on you. Christ gave you second, third, and so many chances. Surely, you and I can extend that same love to somebody who needs it. May we become conduits of the love of God. May we show someone else a love that does not give up. God bless you. And here ends our series on the perfect love of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, that you are love personified. And Lord God, we thank you that your love is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. God, you have given us the ability to love because, Father, you live on the inside of us. Lord Jesus, we ask you to wash us. God, wash us of being unloving, unkind, unmerciful, and unforgiving. Lord, help us, Lord Jesus, to be conduits of your love. Help us, Lord Jesus, to be fashioned as you are. Help us, God, to reflect your nature, God Almighty, which is love. Lord Jesus Christ, it's not easy, but God, we submit and yield ourselves to you. And God Almighty, we will allow ourselves to become pliable in your presence so that we can become who you want us to be, treat people how you want us to treat them, and show them the mercy, God Almighty, that you gave unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Sacrificed his life 